Time to crack some packs. Not this. This. Hey everyone, it's VM Campos, Magic Fan, Vintage Magic Fan. Continuing my quest to crack packs of those from my youth, I've got here one of the worst magic sets ever. I know I said that with Fallen Empires, but actually there's some good cards in there. These from Homelands, these are really some of the bottom of the barrel worst magic cards out there. There's like a beautiful world of lore, but they forgot to make good cards. Homelands is from 1995. I like the package, cool green and red. I don't like that it's only eight per pack. And again, there's no good cards. Looking on various price guides and such, there are really only like six important cards. In Rare, and Zarin Ruins, Anaba Spirit, Crafter, Baron Sengir, and Koskan Falls. The most valuable rare that we're going to be on the lookout for is Didgeridoo. Nothing really important in Uncommon. And actually in Common, surprisingly, if we find Merchant Scroll, that's actually a good one. So, come on, Merchant Scroll. I've got four chances. I've always wanted a Baron Sengir. I never had it back in the day, or really any of the uh, Sengir family. So let's see what we get. First of all, in the back, there's a little bit of a story here. Hidden away by a mysterious wizard for generations, the forgotten world of homelands awaits discovery. Revealed within our many peoples, cultures, and creatures in a realm of complex allegiances and sinister plots. What secret will you uncover as you venture into homelands? $1.75. I paid a little bit more than $1.75, but we'll let's see what we get. I don't know the order of these things, so we'll be looking up uh, rarity at the same time. All right, so the first card is Sengir Bats. One black black, you get a creature, summon bats, one, two. Whenever a creature is put into the graveyard, the same turn, Sengir Bats damaged it, put a 1-1 counter on Sengir Bats. Flavor text, in the face of every one, I see the Baron, Daria. Uh, probably not the MTV character, art by Dan Frazier. Kind of like those bats. There were actually two pieces of art for this one, so I got one version of the art. And if you notice, this is the old classic frames. No collector's number. No color of um, uh, the expansion to tell you what it is. This is a common, by the way. Uh, just old classic magic. This is a common card. My uh, memory lapse. One in a blue. Interrupt, which nowadays would be a uh, an instant. Counter target spell. Put that spell on top of owner's library. I think this is one of the better cards in the set because you counter the spell and then you also put it on top of their uh, library so uh, it kind of hits them twice. It slows them down twice. Oh, I had a conscience once, but alas, I seem to have forgotten where I put it. Chandler. Again, we're getting all of these names of like, who's Daria? Who's Chandler? Art by Mark Tedden. I think there was some alternate art for this one. One of them's more valuable than the other. I don't know. And this is a common card. Ambush Party, 4, and a red. Summon Ambush Party, 3-1. First Strike. Ambush Party can attack the turn it comes into play on your side. So a haste creature with first strike, 3-1, 4, and a red. Huge casting cost, but first strike and haste, that's cool. The roads to Cuscan Keep are mostly safe these days. Mostly. Juskin and have a constable. Art by Mark Poole. This one also had two pieces of art, and it's common. Samite Alchemist. I remember this one. I never had these three down here, but I definitely had an Alchemist and both versions of the art, I believe. Three and a white. Summon Alchemist. You get a zero, two. And then uh, two white. Oh, and, and look at this. The mana symbol 
back in the day uh, was different in white than it is now. Two white tap, prevent up to four damage to a creature you control. Tap that creature. That creature does not untap during your next untap phase. So you kind of protect your creature with a big casting cost and a big drawback. Powders and potions are nothing compared to Faith. Barris, Sarah Inquisitor. Art by Tom Wannerstrand. Common. Headstone. One and a black instant. Remove from the game or exile. Target card in any graveyard. Draw a card at the beginning of the next turn's upkeep. So not bad of a casting cost, and you exile a card from a person's graveyard at instant, and you draw a card at the beginning of the next turn. Your headstone is the last page in the Book of Your Life. Marat, Death Speaker. David A. Cherry, Art. This is at Common, and it was never printed again. Ooh, I recognize this art. Margaret Organ Keen. She always had a cool little pattern in her art. Dwarven Trader. Summon Dwarf. 1-1. One, one, the End. For one red mana. No extra abilities. Maybe if you're drafting, but these early sets were not really made for drafting. So plain vanilla 1-1. One, one. You might as well get Goblin Digging Team that at least can destroy a wall when it sacrifices itself. Their definition of fair profit is certainly novel. Rebecca, Wizard Savant. All right. Another common. Mystic Decree. Two blue-blue. Enchant world. All creatures lose flying and island walk. Curse Rebecca and curse her coddled conjurers. Their sorcerer's school shall yet be ours. Irini Sengir. Art by Liz Danforth. So this is an enchant world. It affects all flying creatures. So this could really hurt your opponent's flying creatures, of course, and if they've got island walk. And for being an enchant world, this is the rare card. One more card. Veldrain of Sengir. So I got one of the Sengir family cards. Cool. I never had this one. I also never had that uh, Mystic Decree, I think. Never had the headstone. Uh, five. Black, black. Summon legend. So you can only have one at a time. Five, five. One black, black. Forest walk. And minus three, minus zero until end of turn. So if your opponent's got forests, you can weaken your own creature to attack. Wow. Poor foolish Veldrain. He goes wherever the Baron wills him. One day he'll go to die. Helena, Dwarven Trader. Susan Van Camp, Art. Pretty cool looking guy. Never used his ability here. 5-5 five, five for 7 mana. Oof. This is also another rare card, so I don't know if it's just my pack here, uh, or they all come with two rares, but uh, six commons, two rares. Interesting. Next pack. Look at that, another memory lapse. Exact same art. Common. Ambush party. Uh, okay, I got another ambush party here. I can start my playset. Hungry Mist. Okay, I have the alternate art of this one, which I think is a little better. This one's scarier, though. Two, green, green, summon mist. Six, two. During your upkeep, pay green, green, or bury hungry mist. So I guess with such a low casting cost, they had to put an extra downside. All things must eat, after all. Even the air can hunger. Gemma, Willow Priestess. Heather Hudson, Art. That guy's not having a good time. Common. Dark Maze. Four and a blue. Summon Wall. You get a four-five wall. Zero. Dark Maze can attack this turn. At end of turn, remove Dark Maze from the game. Dark Maze cannot attack the turn it comes into your control. So no haste. But if you pay zero, you can make your wall attack once forever. Huge casting cost to attack with a 4-5 one time, because then you exile your card. The Path of Faith is fortunately fraught with failure. Irini Sengir. Rob Alexander Art. This had two 
pieces of art, and it's common. Oh, look at that, another Dwarven Trader. Place that on the way. Uh, three more cards. Folk of Anhava. I like this art better than the other one. The other one's really goofy. Uh, for one green, you get a 1-1. One, one. If assigned as a blocker, Folk of Anhava gets plus two plus zero until end of turn. Not so bad, so stronger creature when blocking. There are those who accept being told what to do, what to think, and what to say. Then there are the Folk of Anhava. Rayam, Samite Alchemist, Julie Burrow. I'd like to think that the Samite Alchemist that said that is the Samite Alchemist. Seriously, go look up the other art, the alternate art for this one. Uh, this one's way better. The other ones look like a couple of yokels in the in the hills. Okay, so now we've got either two, com uh, two rares or an uncommon or something coming up. Let's see. Retribution. Two red red. Sorcery. Choose two target creatures controlled by an opponent. Bury one of those creatures and put a minus one minus one counter on the other. That opponent chooses which creature is buried. Interesting. So you're going to kill creatures and make another one weaker. Sorcery Speed, art by Mark Tedden. I never had this one before. Art is kind of weird. And this one is uncommon. Last one. Uh, Abby Gargoyles already had this one. Two, white, white, white. Summon Gargoyles. Three, four. Flying, protection from red. So for five mana, you get a three, four flyer. Protection from red. So no lightning bolt for this guy. Though Sarah has not been seen for 20 years, her gargoyles still watch over our city and punish the guilty. Gulson, Abbey Matron. Art by Chris Rush. And this is an uncommon. So I got two uncommon cards in this pack, and I got two rares in the other one. Oh, homelands. Next. Oh, homelands. So here's the other memory lapse. I've got three memory lapses now. Uh, one with the girl, one with the boy, and another one with the girl. So which do you like better? Leave a comment below. Memory lapse with the guy, memory lapse with the lady. Both of them are counter target spell. And this one says, um, oh, what was I saying? Rebecca, wizard savant. And then Chandler says something else here. Who said something about the text over here somewhere about curse Rebecca? Oh yeah, that was in Mystic Decree over here. Curse Rebecca and curse her coddled conjurers. All right, so memory lapse, that one was common, right? Yep, common. Ambush party. Am I really going to get a playset of ambush parties? There's two so far. There's three. Carapace. Uh, I like the alternate art for Carapace. This one's so freaking creepy. Look at that. Are those two little gonads right there? And why is that guy smiling so much? Okay, so uh, green. Enchant creature. Target creature gets plus zero, plus two. Zero. Sacrifice Carapace to regenerate creature Carapace enchants. The tougher to crack, the sweeter the snack. Kakra, Sea Troll, art by Anson Maddox. This is from, uh, and this is common. Labyrinth Minotaur, three blue, summon Minotaur, one four. Creatures Labyrinth Minotaur is assigned to block, do not untap during their controller's next untap phase. Legend says they got a treasure cave, but it don't say where to find it. Zeki, Reef Pirate. I remember Zeki. Anson Maddox art. Pretty cool Minotaur. I love those tats. I always had the other art, so now I've got the pair, and this is a common. Shrink. I remember this one. Liz Danforth art. One green. Instant. Target creature gets minus five, minus zero, until end of turn. The smallest beast can yet have the greatest heart. Gemma, Willow Priestess. Common. So probably one more common. Sarah Paladin. Two white white. Summon Paladin. Two two. Tap. Prevent one damage to any creature or player. One white white. Tap. 
Attacking does not cause target creature to tap this turn, so it gives vigilance to another creature, or it can prevent one damage, like healing salve, I guess. With that, I could be a paladin again, but the dead hold no place amongst their ranks. Eason's Shade. Ooh, classic Eason's Shade. Uh, I love that card. I wish I got it instead. Pete Venter's Art. Interestingly, in Homelands, this is a common, but in 5th edition, a core set, it became uncommon. Ace and Abbey. Okay, so here's one of the uh, one of the cycle of lands in this set that was almost good. Tap, add one colorless mana. One and tap, add white. Two and tap, add blue. Two and tap, add green. It would have been amazing if you didn't have to tap so much land to get the other uh, aligned colors, because we've got white, blue, and green. White, blue, and green. So we have that shard before there were shards. But it would have been amazing if they were all one in tap. Sarah's gift to her people, a symbol of faith and hope. Art by Liz Danforth. This was only ever printed in Homelands, and it is uncommon. And the last card, Irini Sengir. Cool. I never had, uh, again, any of the Sengir family. Uh, two, black, black, summon legend. Two, two. White enchantments and green enchantments each cost an additional two to cast. That's pretty cool. Not a not a terrible casting cost to really hose your your white or green mage opponents. That cruel being brings shame to all her fellow dwarves and misery to all the land. She is Sengir's daughter in spirit, if not in blood. Rebecca, wizard savant, art by Pete Venters. So I got two out of the I don't know. Four Sengir family. There's Veldrain, Irini, Grandmother Sengir, and Baron Sengir. Oh, and then the Sengir Bats and the Sengir Autocrats. So I want the whole Sengir clan, but I doubt I'll get them all. This one's not horrible, but, you know, pretty weak body. Uncommon. So that pack had no real rares. We got uncommons. Again, those old sets back in the day. All right, last pack. That one did not want to give up its cards. Trade Caravan. I never had this one back in the day. One white, summon Caravan. One one. Kaja Foglio, one of my favorite artists. Look at that great art. During your upkeep, put a currency counter on Trade Caravan. Zero. Remove two currency counters. To untap, target basic land. Use this ability only during any opponent's upkeep. All right, so you can untap lands for two tr uh, currency counters, but during only upkeep. Look at that cool art. This had two pieces of art, and this is the one I've, the only one I've ever owned, and uh, it's common. Dark maze. Um, sounds familiar. Did I already have that one? Four and a blue summon wall. Dark maze can attack. Yeah, I already had that one. What was the, what was the other art for that? Here's the other art. Hey, is that connected? Yeah, that connects, doesn't it? So that guy didn't make it, and that guy's still fighting. Stray not into the path of darkness, or be lost forever. Baki, Wizard Attendant, both by Rob Alexander. Cool, I never, I think I had that one back in the day. I don't remember having that one. And I've got the, the whole panorama. Yay. Another memory lapse. I have a whole play set of memory lapse. It would have been perfect if each one was the, the lady art. Uh, I don't know which is the valuable one. We can look that up later, but a whole play set. Oh, and look at that. Another alternate art for Samite Healer or Samite Alchemist, uh, you can vote which one do you like better. Both by the same artist, Tom Wannerstrand. So sitting up, standing up or sitting down, which do you like better? Close up or not? I like that one. He looks a little more regal. Here he looks kind of crazy eyes. 
Chandler. Oh, cool. This is uh, one of the kind of important characters in the whole set of Homelands. Kind of creepy looking guy. Uh, four and a uh, red summon legend. Three, three. Red, red, red. Tap. Destroy target artifact. Creature. Artifact creature. Never brag about the latest wonder you've created, students. Chandler might be listening. Rebecca, wizard savant. Doug Schuler. So he destroys um, artifacts. Apparently this is a common legend. Interesting. Never had it back in the day. Shrink, same artwork. And we've got two more. Here's the last two ones. Wall of Kelp. Blue, blue. Summon wall, zero, three. Blue, blue and tap. Put a kelp token into play. Treat this token as a zero, one blue wall. So you can make more of itself. That's kind of cool. Uh, with the first original kelp. You can eat it, you can weave it, but you can't fight in it. Zeki Reef Pirate. Alan Rabinowitz Art. This is one of the rare cards, if you can believe it. And the last card. Sarah Inquisitors. Uh, are they men or are they Devo? Four and a white. Uh, there's that casting cost over and over, isn't it? Summon Inquisitors, 3-3. Three, three. If assigned to block any black creatures, or any black creatures are assigned to block it, Sarah Inquisitor gets plus 2, plus 0 until end of turn. Dennis Detweiler, Art. And this one is an uncommon card. So that's really interesting, the collation of these things. Some of them had a rare, some of them had two rares, some of them had two uncommons and a bunch of commons. So quick recap. Here, uh, Wall of Kelp, nah, uh, uh, Veldrain of Sangir, that's cool. Mystic Decree, that's cool. Sarah Inquisitor, um, nah. Uh, Irini Sangir, I like that one. Ace and Abby, so close to being good. Uh, Abby Gargoyle, nope. Retribution, kind of cool. Shrink, nah. Chandler, cool for nostalgia. Semite Healers, nope. Dark Maze, um, no, huge casting cost. Minotaur, eh, Shrink, Hungry Mist, uh, Fail, Fail, Fails, uh, Four Memory Lapses. What does this one do again? Counter targets. Okay, that's kind of that's kind of okay. Sp counter spells. Sengir Bat never had it. Part of the Sengir family. Uh, ambush Party. Oh, there's another one of that. Uh, four plus uh, land, um, a few one drop creatures, two of the traders, one of the and have a folk, and then uh, headstone. Never had that one before, so that's kind of a great um, metaphor for what this set is. It's just dead, uh, very weak power levels, uh, great story, but not great cards. I didn't get any of the really valuable ones that I was on the lookout for. I really wanted that Baron Sengir, I guess, and the Merchant Scroll. I already have one, but it'd be nice to have another one. It's mine's in played condition after all. But uh, yeah, so Homelands, uh, the most hated set of all of uh, Magic. Uh, so low value cards, low power, low low toughness, low value monetarily. But I wanted to show off a, a set that back in the day, th this was my Magic. How things have changed. I've got some more unboxing of classic sets coming up. So don't disappoint Chandler. Come back and check those out. And if you like these videos, don't forget to go over to patreon.com slash vmcampos and donate a dollar. Why not? I think it's worth it. This has been VM Campos. See you next time. Bye.